Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the General Dynamics plugin as a multiband compressor in Reaper. Now what we do in this video is going to work on any sound source we need. But in this video, I'm going to put it on the master two bus or the master track. So the project in front of me here, let's hear it. So let's go to the master track. Let's go to the track effects. And then we'll search in the filter general and the general dynamics plugin shows up here. Let's double click it. So then we could use this to compress or limit or expand or upward compress our master track. But let's start off with compression. We could draw on our graph down here from here over to here, which is going to create two to one compression. Let's clean up the drawing by holding the shift key and dragging it over. And down over here is the input, and over here is the output. So with this graph, we can see what the compressor is doing. Everything above our threshold over here is going to be compressed at a 2 to 1 ratio. So it brings down the output over here. And we could adjust where our threshold is with the detector gain. So again, everything above here is being compressed. I don't wait, wait. And we could adjust the attack and the release right here. I don't wait, wait. But it sounds pretty good right there. But we could also add some upwards compression on this side. Let's draw from here down to here. And now everything above our threshold is going to be compressed. And everything below the threshold is going to use upward compression. Or it's going to bring up the level. Like this. I don't wanna wait. So basically, everything below our threshold is getting louder, and everything above the threshold is getting lower. So it's compressing on both ends and reducing the dynamic range. I don't wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. But if you notice, we're kind of hearing the artifacts. It's pumping and breathing and sounds a bit too squashed. So we can make this sound smoother if we change this to a multi-band compressor, which means compressing each band in the frequency separately. So let's start by turning off this one and let's add another plugin. Let's search split and we can add a splitter to our effects chain, three band, four band, or five band. Let's keep it simple and use the three band. Double click it. And this is going to split our frequencies into three separate parts, low, mids, and highs. And if we play it right now, we're just going to hear the lows. I don't wait, wait, wait. Everything else is filtered out. So we need to put it back together separately. Let's add another plugin. And let's type in join. And now we can add the plugin three band joiner. We put this after the splitter to put our frequencies back together, low, mids, and highs. But in order to make this work, we need to add more channels. So let's go to the pin connector over here and change this from two channels to six. So one and two are the low channels, three and four are the mids, and five and six are the highs. So if we play it now, I don't want to win. We hear all the frequencies. 
or low or mids and highs. And we could also choose a crossover point in the splitter plugin. Right now it's set to 200 hertz and 2 kilohertz. So everything below 200 hertz is the low end. And between 200 and 2K is the mids, and 2K and above is the high. And we could change the crossover frequencies right here. But let's keep it at the default. Let's go back to the joiner. Let's just hear the low. And we'll drag the general dynamics in between our splitter and the joiner. Let's turn it back on and check the pins right here. Let's turn off the side chain. And one and two is going out one and two. So this plugin is only going to affect the low end. So let's readjust it to taste. Sounds pretty good right there. So let's duplicate it by copying it and pasting it and set the second one to the mids. Let's just hear the mids. Go to the pins on the second one and change it to come in on three and four and go out three and four. So we're just going to hear this plugin on the mids. So let's readjust this to taste. I don't want to wait. And we could adjust the attack and the release separately for the mids. I don't wanna wait. Wait, wait, wait. I don't wanna wait. Let's do the same thing with the highs. Copy it and paste it. Change the pins to come in on five and six and go out five and six. So it's just affecting the highs. And let's just hear the highs only. I don't wanna wait. Again, we could set it completely separately from the lows and mids. And we could blend it back together with the joiner plugin. Our lows, our mids, and our highs. And we could also readjust their volume to taste. I don't want to wait. Before I don't want to wait and after I don't want to wait and because we separated each compressor downward and upward on their own frequency, it tends to sound smoother as each frequency is being adjusted separately. I don't want to wait. What I usually do at the end is add a limiter like the event horizon, and just add a few dB of limiting. I don't wanna wait. It just kind of polishes the whole mix as each frequency or frequency band is separated and the dynamic range is reduced for each frequency separately, creating a more subtle but still controlled effect. Again, before I don't wanna wait. and after. I don't wanna wait.
So that's pretty much it. That's how to use the General Dynamics plugin as a multi-band compressor in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.